get some uh, charge lots. I think I already, yeah, I already got them. So I'm gonna start um, satur or getting natural and saturating it. I put that down just to warp in and also give me a little bit more uh, vision around here. I should have also put one down this, um, but hindsight's 2020. So he's dancing his around, uh, saturating his min his his uh, expansion there. And now I'm really crushing him. 40, 41 to 23. He's over half, but once you hit 41 probes, it's critical mass. I'm probably going to make some more at the Nexus once it finishes, but that's a little bit wild. that's a little wild away. He's going to get an Evo Chamber, place a Creep Tumor, which I don't think he knows he can advance, but uh, regardless, he's still moving him around, and here. I kill the Zerglings here at the, uh, at the Watchtower, and I'm making a push. I don't know if he saw this or is going to react to it, but he's moving, he's moving, and they're just going to stay at the watchtower a little bit. Um, meanwhile, I have 16 stalkers. I'm going to saturate my expansion and eventually put things in, put probes in gas here, um, getting another warp in point for my zealot stalker sentries. Or, uh, and I didn't think to do this, uh, high templars. That's something I've never touched in StarCraft 2 because I've heard that they mess it all the hell. Now, he doesn't have any detectors. I don't know if he knows about um, overseers or, or what, or spore colonies, but he's not getting any of them. So let's speed it up, and nope. You know what? I'm getting ready to try and blink over. So, wait, that didn't work. I'm gonna go back and try it again. It's like it's like you're gonna make a big jump or something. You wanna make sure you have your footing right. You're gonna practice until you actually do it. So now he's going to start moving out, and he's going to attack the rocks, and I want you to watch exactly how he does it. Oh, he's going back, he's going forward. Oh, I get some through, I get some blinked over, but I fail. Um, so I'm going to warp in some extra guys and nearly get spot block. I'm, I'm rolling in minerals right now, I should have just uh, made like six more uh, gateways. And, you know. Oh! I'm so close, one more. Oh, I have two, three remaining. Whatever. Uh, they, they start to want to go all the way around here for no reason because they can't get there. So I, I bring one back and I leave two here at the rocks, which is actually good for me because he does break through them. Um, so he's on his way. Meanwhile, I'm on my way. And eventually I'm going to get my warp prism over there to get more zealots. Now, I killed a couple of Zerglings here, he's going to move back thinking, oh gosh. But then he realizes he has a much larger force than that. I get a few free Zerg Zergling kills, and after that, after the rock's coming down, which they eventually will, he's done. Except for the ping that tells me, crap, your base is about to get attacked. But, I blink all but one! Oh, what a killer. So right now, I'm just not going to he starts bringing back his, his units. Um, I kill the queen, focus down spine crawler, try to kill as many drones as possible, although I don't need to. Uh, so right now these guys are chilling out, destroying whatever. And I realize that's a bad, bad simple attack. Sign. In fact, I shouldn't have done this. I, I blinked into it, blinked into the range of all of these um, hydras. So there are my uh, zealots that I warped in. I'm, I'm going to withdraw and keep that one stalker that didn't quite make it just in the corner of his base. Now, remember these um, eight zealots, because they work well. Meanwhile, my observer just kind of runs around. He's getting a couple more drones. His drone count got slashed, and these guys are not doing anything. So that was his big problem. He still got money in the bank. Um, so my cannon takes out some stuff. He he just destroys the stalkers that, that warp in. Hydras are really good. In fact, they're up here as well. Mine, I don't really are. They are a little bit. Um, what I want to say is, this ledge is underused. Um, especially in my play, I don't really... Unless it's the opponents, I don't really do much with it. But these charge, these charge lots are having some fun killing all his drones. He's got five. He's going to have four. Three. So, this is his last hurrah, basically. To 
again, there's the economy jump start that he needs to put in second. He needs to get the Hydra's to defend his base, but he doesn't have any drones. So he's going to be running in here, and because of the way I built, which is kind of stupid, um, I can only have my stalker attack frontline here. Too. That works both ways. Um, because now, I don't have to worry about going to the so right now I'm waiting for the cooldown to work. Um, he is going to realize that he's attacking the APA and I'm going to try focusing down this pylon. Meanwhile, my charge lots are just having their way in his base and the stalker that didn't quite make it still didn't make it all the way. So he's got three larvae that aren't doing anything and I think the creeper will subside a little bit more, but uh, not so much. So after he realizes that these charge lots will... He's got like three hit points. I, I destroy everything he had here by summoning in some reinforcements, and he just kind of realizes it. it's it's pretty much over. He still has a lot of minerals, and he eventually, you know, makes it come, but it's just really not. Meanwhile, I'm getting back to work. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say that you know, it's underused to get that many um, units that fast without any war prisms or you know, kind of a doom drop. So blink stalkers are very very powerful and they work to your advantage. Never mind my horrible base construction that will come back to bite me in a uh, PvP that I will probably cast where I lose against Blink Stalkers. So, this is Jay Honcho. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a thumbs up, comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Other than calling me noob, I know that. Um, so, Jay Honcho, signing off. Thanks.